Why? Why don't I even have the right to love you anymore? Jiangxi, you've truly lost it. You've truly lost it. Listen up. I'm warning you. Starting now. Our game is over. I don't want it to be over. It's over. Wei Ming. You can't shake me off that easily. Not in your wildest dreams. I don't agree. I'm warning you. If you still want to get by an arc, we'll each go our separate ways. We're apart now and never meet again. You'd better not show up in front of my wife again. If you say something out of line, Jiang Xi, don't blame me for being harsh. I have thousands of ways to kick you out of this industry for good. Come on, Mr. Wei. You're having a heart-to-heart -heart with a subordinate this late? You know what they say. If you walk by the river often, you'll eventually get your shoes wet. Karma catches up now? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Mr. Wei. You're so hypocritical. You play around with women, and that's fine. But why pretend to be in love? I get it. You think when she falls for you, she's easier to control. Why don't you say that a little louder? But now she's head over heels in love. Isn't this just shooting yourself in the foot? <laughs> Do you have any proof? Do you? I could sue you for defamation. Zhang Xi and I are simply superiors and subordinates. The whole company knows that I have a wife and a child. If you're going to sling mud, at least aim right. It sounds that you and Zhang Xi have parted ways. Mr. Wei, what's a mistress in the grand scheme of a bright future? Isn't she just another woman? Once secure the position of vice president, you'll have as many as you want. Now, wherever they go, they always carry a little handkerchief with them. The neighbor lady won't say anything more. Okay, that's the end of today's story. Little ones should head to bed now. Mom! Every time Dad has a company team building, he's not the same Dad. During meals, he would always hold me and make me sit on his lap. He'd also keep taking selfies with me. It's so annoying. Today was my fault. I should have been on your side. I shouldn't have let your Dad force you to wear something you didn't like. All right, it's bedtime now. Hey. Have a good sleep. Are you lying down yet? Not asleep yet? Is Gogo asleep? Where did you go? I stepped out for a bit, to handle some business. You mean things with Zhang Xi? Honey, there was a bit of ambiguity between us. I just clarified with her. From now on, aside from work, there won't be any relationship. I'm sorry. About that art exhibition last time, I lied to you. I shouldn't have told you. 
that she and I were mere acquaintances. But please believe me, we've truly ended things this time. Can I even trust your words anymore? Maybe I should just ask the other party directly. Weren't you going to buy an educational fund for Guogo? Since the villa purchase didn't go through, I'll transfer the half a million to you. So generous. For Guogo? It's all worth it. Lin Shuang, why are you transferring that money to me? Although it wasn't part of the plan, we had a prior agreement, right? So every penny I promised you, I will deliver. I heard your contracts and promotion were sabotaged by Wei Ming. Consider it taking back what rightfully belongs to you from him. I knew it. You came to gloat over my misfortune. Your misfortune is entertaining, but it's not worth a hundred thousand. Besides, between the two of us, who's more ridiculous isn't yet clear. Let me tell you, this time I came, it's not for the money. Did you get what you wanted then? Just now, Wei Ming told me half-heartedly, confessed about the relationship between you two. But in his eyes, I didn't see a hint of guilt. Perhaps in his view, he just made a mistake, one that many people might make. I'm just a mistake. You need to clear your head. Don't be so hard on yourself. Money isn't everything. But for me, it's the security for my daughters and my future. It's the same for you. It can help you solve many real life troubles, right? Honestly, I'm quite curious. What's so great about Wei Ming? What made you bend over backward for him all these years? No one ever acknowledged my worth the way he did. He appeared in my lost world like a ray of light. He gave me hope. Other men wanted me to be obedient, sensible, and harmless. But he was different. He encouraged me to pursue my career even actively created opportunities for me without him. There wouldn't be the Jiangxi of today. Do you understand? I don't. I don't get why you feel that way. Haven't you ever thought that he just wanted to use you to the fullest extent? He used feelings as a bargaining chip to tie you two together. When times are good, you can charge forward for him. When things go south, you're just the scapegoat. I don't care. At least he treats me like a woman. And sees me as a person. You simply don't get it. To be neglected from birth, overlooked, and no matter how hard you try, you never receive validation or respect. You have no idea what it feels like. Being used isn't the same as being respected. Nor is it validation. If someone wants to gain the respect of others, you need to first respect and love yourself. For someone who's been born with a silver spoon, how could you possibly understand how I feel? I'll say it again. Clear your head. 
Don't pin your hopes on someone else. Wei Ming only loves himself. If you sink too deep, you'll regret it. Grandma, Gogo misses you so much. Grandma misses you too. Has mom cooked? I'm starving. Can we ever have a meal without you? Remember to eat the fruits I bought for you all. Don't let them rot. From now on, don't buy anything. If we want to eat something, we'll buy it ourselves. Gu oh. Xu. Hey. Shuang Shuang is here. Hey. You're here. Huh. It's your dad. Insisting on playing chess with Gu Xu. After just two rounds, he said he was tired and went to rest, leaving Gu Xu here by himself. What's that smell? Mom, what are you cooking in the pot? My fish. Do you know how to play chess? I do. What should I call you? My name is Ping Guo. Oh, I'm Gu Xu. Pleasure to meet you. Hello. Uh, how about a game? It's your move. Do you play anything else? Uncle, have you known my mom for a long time? Yes, I have. How did you know? There's a picture of you at Grandpa's. From when you and Mom were younger, Grandpa said you're a very impressive and talented uncle. Uncle, what was Mom like before she became my mom? The old Lin Shuang? She was stubborn and strong-willed. Always first in class during exams. Good at both sports and arts. Your mom is the most outstanding person I've ever met. Even more outstanding than you, uncle? How's the academic atmosphere at Second High? I feel it's a bit more intense than my previous school. I've seen your grades from your previous school. They're excellent. Thank you, Principal. But remember, there's always someone better out there. Second High is a top provincial school to succeed in such a school. Um... Hello, Principal. Excuse me, classmate. Can you give me back the paper plane? Thanks. This is Lin Shuang, the top student in our grade. From now on, not only will you two be classmates, but also competitors. Your mom, she's much, much more outstanding than me. A long, long time ago. She's always been the goal I wanted to surpass. Guo Guo, Grandma made your favorite big crab. Come eat. Time for crab. Wash your hands first. Ah! Let's go, dinner time. Little Pinguo sure makes herself at home. She has a big heart. You don't have to say things you don't mean to make her happy. Why do you think what I said wasn't genuine? From the moment I met you, I've always considered you as my one and only goal. The old Lin Shuang was indeed the most outstanding person I've ever seen. It was you who showed me what real talent looks like. Back then, no matter how hard I tried, I could never surpass you. It's a pity. Ever since you let emotions rule you and gave up on your career, that exceptional girl disappeared. Sis, you're back. Perfect timing. Look, look. One green, two whites, bok choy, and two water poached eggs. Turn off the stove first. Turn off the stove. It's burning, burning, burning. Just go sit. I'll bring it over to you in a moment. Did you make all of this? Yes. Who else could it be? It's quite heavy. You even cleaned the house. Oh. Sit down. Xiao Hai. Huh? Did you 
Run out of money? I have money. I haven't finished spending the 2,000 when you gave me. Tell me. What's your real intention being here? Actually, there's nothing special. I was just thinking the other day, what if we had a guest or something? As soon as they opened the door, they'd see dirty socks everywhere. That'd be embarrassing, right? Guests? When have we ever had guests at our house? Well, don't you have friends? My friends? Mm. Sis, give it a taste. It'll harden later. Tastes just right. Now my wife doesn't answer my calls, and no one can find her. Tell me the truth. Where did you hide her? Hand her over to me. Ms. Wong has already filed for divorce. You'll see her on the day of the court hearing. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go! Let go! Hand her over to me. Explain yourself. Let go! Release me! Hand her over to me! Release me! What are you doing? Let go! Don't think I don't know. That wretched woman is holding on to my affair, refusing to sign the divorce papers, and then sue me in court. Wasn't all this your idea? All you want is my money, isn't it? Since you don't care about your wife's feelings, what's wrong with her talking about money? Every penny you have after marriage half belongs to her. She's not asking for it. She's taking back what's rightfully hers. Wait. Who are you? What business do you have with my wife and me? Mr. Zhu, the division of assets between you and Ms. Wang will be decided by the court. Yelling here won't change anything. If you continue like this, I'll call the police. <sighs> call the police? You think I'm afraid of you? Fine. You wait and see. I won't let you succeed. Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Lin Shuang. Have you considered what to do next? I understand. You saw what just happened. Some people will stoop so low when it comes to their interests. Indeed. Compared to burning one's bridges, going with the flow seems like an easier path. No. I haven't considered going with the flow. Wei Ming has already given up a part of his assets. I'm still working hard on the job front. It seems you've figured things out. Of course. Thanks for earlier. Young. This early morning, the atmosphere in the office feels off. What happened? Haven't you known? Feng Kai has really messed up this time. Take a look. This blew up. How dare you to make such a major decision on your own? Do you even have a brain? Huh? Speak up. Look, Mr. Ling, my intention was totally for the company. You dare say it was for the company? Feng Kai, that's not the right thing to say. Does the company lack the 20% of PR fees you saved? Because of what you did, now that it's been exposed, do you know the money the company spent on crisis PR is much more than what you saved? I know... 
You're eager to shine, but you can't disregard the company's interests for your personal performance metrics. Did you hear? Wei Ming is right. No matter what you say now, you can't undo the damage to the company. Wait, Mr. Ling? I'm definitely at fault here. But give me a chance, I promise. Give you another chance? Now that this has happened, someone has to be responsible, right? Is it not you? Is it me, then? Let me tell you, stop all your current work immediately. Have your team report directly to me. Uh -huh. As for how you'll be dealt with, we'll see after the audit department's investigation. Mr. Ling? Your tea is ready. Wei Ming! Did you leak this to the media? Let go of me. I won't! Trying to throw a punch, huh? Calm down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Stop playing innocent. This is a crucial moment in the competition for Vice President. By pulling me down, aren't you the biggest beneficiary? Get one thing straight. You leaked users' data. You're the one who made the mistake. You can't blame others. Here's a word for you. You've brought this on yourself. Fine. You just wait. I'll surely find evidence that you leaked it to the media. When the bosses find out that you compromised Ark's interests for suppressing Rival, don't expect to reap any benefits. You better get going. Go on. Today's instructor was pretty good, huh? Let's train together next time. Sounds good. Bye. Class is about to start. I'll be right there. Don't stand here hesitating. If you have something to say, just spit it out. At such a crucial juncture, exposing Feng Kai's dirty laundry, don't you find it too coincidental? What are you trying to say? The whistleblower, apart from exposing the transaction recording between Feng Kai and the PR company, also revealed Feng Kai's back-end transaction records of copying user data. Within ARC, the number of people with this kind of access is quite limited, right? Wei Ming is one of them. This whole thing must be Wei Ming's doing. Jiang Xi, I hope you can help me. Find evidence of Wei Ming leaking to the media. I know... This cooperation is different from before. And you'll be taking a big risk. But as long as I get a hold of this leverage on Wei Ming, I'm confident he'll sign the divorce agreement. By then, our previous agreement still stands. Of every sum I get, you'll have a 20% cut. Moreover, isn't seeing me leave Wei Ming what you've wanted? I do want you two to divorce, but have you thought about the consequences? Once we find the evidence and expose Wei Ming, as the one betraying the company's interests, his career, his future, all will be ruined. After all, he is Pingo's father. Do you need to be this ruthless? I want the evidence, not to expose him, but to use it as a bargaining chip for the divorce. Likewise, this can also become your trump card to safeguard your own interests, right? Tell me. What do you need me to do? First, you'll need to log into the company's backend through Wei Ming's account. He has a habit when setting passwords. Usually it's an abbreviation of his name, followed by a date that holds significance to him. Are you sure about this? Calm down, try a few more times. I've already tried your wedding anniversary and Pingo's birthday. How many more times do I have to try before it works? You think this is like buying a lottery ticket? Try 0927.
It worked. This is the date when Wei Ming became the product director of ARC, the peak of his career. We all overestimated its importance to him. What should I do next? Open the log. There should be records of Wei Ming's recent views and screenshot activities. Look for any information related to Feng Kai or the users. I found it. His screenshot matches exactly with the whistleblowers. Turns out he's the one who leaked the info. Quickly download that screenshot record and then log out of the system immediately. <sighs> Got it. When will the new business plan be ready? We've been going back and forth discussing this for so long. When can we come to a conclusion? Mr. Wei is still waiting for the report. All right, I got it. I'll make sure to get it to you before I leave. You better keep your word. If you delay our progress, I'll definitely report the truth to Manager Wei. Okay. Mom, the coach praised my progress again today. Hmm. Mom saw it. Guogo, you're awesome. Yang Yang, bye bye. Guogo, see you later. Bye. Hello? Hi. Is this Lin Shuang? Yes, who's this? This is Zhu Xiaoqing from Pan Shi. I'm informing you that you've passed the preliminary round for the Pan Shi Research Institute assistant position. Please come to the company for the second round before 5 p.m. today. I happen to see a resume in HR just now. You're an alumnus, right? Hurry up, hurry up! The server has issues! Quick! Move it, move it, move! What's going on? What exactly happened? It is hosting a shopping festival. Due to the overwhelming number of orders, the server crashed. They've been working overnight for several nights, still trying to fix the issue. Let me have a try. Have you guys tried all possible solutions? Uh, yes. Actually, the core issue is about preheating. Just like in the winter when we need to preheat the car before driving. We just rushed into driving it. Without preheating. Check the monitoring system data in a bit. When we hit a high traffic period, our data is sent over in waves. Without preheating, we need to pull resources from elsewhere, causing the system to lag. I've adjusted the resources and set up pre-warming caches. That should probably solve the issue. Oh, you're impressive, Manager Gu. I saw the documents you left behind. Even though you're not a recent graduate, your potential and willingness fit Panshu's approach to talent selection perfectly. So I handed your resume to our superior, the HR director. That's how I managed to get you this opportunity. Thank you. You helped me once. Now I'm returning the favor. Repay a kindness. By the way, the newly appointed CEO will also be in this interview. Do your best. Okay. Good luck. The conference room. I'll head off now. You're Lin Shuang, right? Uh. Please take a seat. Thank you. Don't be nervous. Let me introduce everyone. This is Pan Shi CEO, Mr. Gu. Ah. The other is our chief assistant, Shu Man. I'm Hefei, in charge of HR. We'll just have a casual chat. Just speak honestly about your thoughts. All right. I noticed in your resume that you once chose to give up your career to take care of your family and child. Becoming a full-time homemaker. May I ask, what's prompting you? to now re-enter the workforce? It's for my daughter, and also for myself. I have a daughter named Pinguo. She's very passionate about ice hockey, and is quite talented. Yet even so, when people hear about her dream of becoming an ice hockey player, the initial reaction is usually one of skepticism. My daughter often asks me. She said, Mom, 
Why can't girls play ice hockey? Are there many things only boys can do? She's posed this question multiple times, and I've answered it many times. But I think I've yet to give her a truly satisfactory answer. I'm aware that, given my age and the significant gap, returning to the workforce won't be easy. You just asked me why I'm doing this. To stay home and accompany my daughter as she grew up. I don't regret my decision. But now, I want to reclaim the person I once was. Because I want to set an example for my daughter, to show her that women can also pursue their dreams without any constraints. I hope that the current doubts my daughter has can find answers in her mother's actions. In my opinion, even though Lin Shuang lacks some work experience, the position is an assistant. Work experience can gradually be accumulated over time. Shu Man. I don't have any more questions. Manager Gu, what's your opinion then? <clears throat> Do you think deep learning algorithms are superior to machine learning algorithms? And why? Some say deep learning is a black box with little interpretability. What's your take on this? Mm. I'm sorry. I haven't delved deeply into the technology of deep learning. But that's also one of the reasons I'm applying for the research assistant position. Because at Panshi, I can be exposed to the latest technologies. Given the opportunity, I would strive to update my technical knowledge every spare moment I have beyond my regular duties. The world of algorithms changes rapidly. A four-year professional gap isn't something you can simply make up for. I'm sorry, someone who could easily give up their career and dreams isn't a good fit for Pan Shi. Next. Also, what I dislike the most are those who have good family backgrounds. People who have great talents and opportunities, but don't know how to cherish them. And you, you are one of those people. Video call with mom. Mom, mom! Guo Guo. Today grandma taught me how to make steamed buns. Look, this is the bunny shaped bun I made. Hey, yeah. Guo Guo is so clever. Mommy, are you crying? Mommy isn't crying. Just had a little speck of dust get into my eye. Let Guo Guo blow on it for you then. Guo Guo will blow and it will stop hurting. Mommy, do your eyes still hurt? It really doesn't hurt anymore. Guo Guo is so clever. If Guo Guo is with mommy, it doesn't hurt. So Guo Guo wants to be with mommy forever. Guo Guo will always be with mommy. Okay. Guo Guo, it's time to eat. Come on, say goodbye to mommy. Bye bye Guo Guo. Come give mommy a kiss. <laughs> brings the evidence. Meet at our usual spot tonight, or it's a no-go. Hello, Xiao Zhang. Manager Wei. I need a favor. I want to ask if the tech department has recently cleared any backend logs. You know, search histories, screenshot records and such. No. What happened, Manager Wei? Is there something wrong? Do you want me to check it for you? Could you please? Can you help me look up an IP address? All right.
Get in the car. Where are you taking me? Stop the car up ahead. I need to get out. I'm here. I'll wait for you. Manager Wei, didn't we decide to part ways? Isn't it a bit inappropriate for you to do this to a regular female colleague? I regret it. From the moment I left your room, I felt regret. I know deep down I didn't mean what I said. I don't know why. The words came out wrong. I'm not a good person. From the first day I got involved with you, I was destined to let everyone down. But even so, I don't want to let you go. Happy birthday. How did you know? You once told me that your mother changed your birth date by half a year earlier so you could start working sooner to support the family. So today is your actual birthday. I haven't forgotten. Any word you've told me? Jiangxi. I know I don't have the right to ask for your forgiveness. I just hope you won't reject my kindness. I'm sorry, ma'am. Would you like to order anything else? We're closing soon. Thank you. Hello. The number you've dialed is turned off. I'm sorry. The number you've dialed is turned off. Silly. Uh. What are you doing? I... I'll be right there. Hurry up. Okay.
Hello, the number you've dialed is turned off. I'm sorry. The number you've dialed is turned off.